In today's video, I am going to be breaking down the Toronto Raptors and what we can look forward to in this upcoming season. The Toronto Raptors look extremely good, so let's get down, let's check them out. If you want to be able to shoot the basketball better, make sure to go check out the hardest basketball shooting workout down in the description below. Okay, so one of the strategies that the Toronto Raptors use to be able to score on their opponents is to be able to get that ball into the key and then to kick it out to perimeter shooters for three-point shots. And that's what we see here in this first play. This is actually a very simple strategy. You can run this against man-to-man -man and zone defenses if you're a coach. Ideally, I would have liked to see that player kind of hard with the blurry footage to be able to pop to this wing or this point because... When that kickout pass happens, this man closed out, didn't close out as well as he should have. He was afraid of Pascal Siakam driving, but with this extra player, he could have got himself another open shot opportunity if this defender was to actually close out like the way he should have. Hand down, man down, and of course the basket happens. So one thing that the Toronto Raptors do, it didn't work in this possession here, but it is a very good strategy if you're a player or a coach. When you're coming down to the last few seconds of your shot clock, what you can do is, if there's a screen, to double the player who was using that screen. Because now there's two players on him, it makes the shot even harder. Of course, Jalen Green's going to be able to make that shot. But was he able to have enough time to pass over to this player for this player to shoot with about three seconds left on the shot clock. There was not enough time, and of course, Jalen Green was able to hit that shot. However, with the Raptors, that's their defensive strategy. Now, another one of their strategies is being super long. Look at the players that they have on the court. They have nobody under six foot six in this clip. The reason why I mention this is another one of their strategies is to have everybody on their team between six foot six and seven feet tall. This guy's seven feet. And that will allow them to get as many offensive rebounds as possible for second chance points. And, of course, on offense, it's extremely hard to be able to block players with long arms and about 6 foot 8-ish height. Also, they have the strategy of getting a ton of players in there for offensive rebounds because... Even if there was a 7-footer on the floor for the other team, they have a 7-footer, they have Pascal Siakam, they have Scotty Barnes. They have a lot of options with long arms to be able to get those rebounds. And after a basket, they run a janky style full court press. And I, I say janky because I kind of also run very similar with a girls team that I coach. But everyone gets back except for one player, disrupts the pass inbounds, and... It's just a fun little strategy to run to make the team work harder. However, on defense, they do sometimes help one pass away, which will open up three-point shots for the other team, but they don't always take those options, the other teams. However, this time they did. This is another great strategy that the Raptors run. They're running a five-out in this clip. However, they have their, their star player, Pascal Siakam, at the point. He's a very long player who dribbles a lot. They cut the player away from the wing on this side. This opens up that drive on that side so that when he does drive, there's essentially an open lane. Now, when he drives here, what opened up the lane was this defender moved towards his man because his man went from the corner to the wing, which then made that defender think that, of course, he was going to get the kick out pass which then allowed Pascal Siakam to still be able to have that lane, and he's got a really nice touch around the rim to be able to score. This simple cut across the key is what will give a ton of players open spaces or open lanes to attack on a 5-0. Long arms, which is something that the Raptors are going to be known for this year, do help disrupting passes on defense, and... Just like how I like to say defense will lead to offense, your best offense is defense, which will allow you to get a lot of easy points. So here, 5 out once again, we have the ball in the wing, and then they set a staggered screen down for the corner man. The corner man uses that staggered screen, but after that second screen, he notices that his men, his defender has created essentially an open lane he may have also heard them say switch because it does definitely seem like they did call switch and because this man is looking in this direction he has no idea where this ball is coming from he is relying on watching what Delano Banton is doing with his eyes and his head and obviously his arms and that pass was perfectly led to where 
Delano Banton needs to go. You don't want to send the lob pass here because there's a defender here. As the passer here, you want to lead to where there's an open space on the court, and that is that right side of that key which allowed Delano Banton to get it in the low post for an easy basket. Delano Banton is a six foot eight or a six foot nine guard, and this is another thing what I'm basically mentioning is the Raptors are very long, very tall. Something else the Raptors do really well right here is the lead pass on a fast break off of good defense. Also, look how many dribbles. One, two, then picks up. The fewest amount of dribbles down court, the faster you're going to be as a player, and that will allow you to get some easy layups at the rim. Also, obviously, leading that pass to the man who is farthest ahead will always lead to easy shots, or at least make the defense run. And again, going with the same idea as what we started with, by driving the ball, you're going to collapse the defense. Look at how many players are open. We've got two open right here. This man is technically open, but not in good position for the passer. So he's able to get that ball out to the corner. In my opinion, Pascal Siakam should have been backing up to the three to give this guy a second option other than shooting. But he's a good shooter, so yes. And again, always trying to get that lead pass. Here they were able to lead that pass. They're on a three-on-two situation. And what is the best thing to do on a situation like this? If you get the ball in the wing, you need to attack the middle because now you've got players who can leak out to the corners and you can either drive and score or kick it out to the corners. And that's exactly what we see here. He's got an open lane to the basket and he took it. Basically, the Raptors play really good fundamental basketball with very long arms and very tall height. In fact, they have very few players who are shorter than 6'6". Six six. They have most of their team, about two-thirds of their team, over 6'7". That is a massive team, and they all have massive wingspans. There's a strategy behind this, which is good defense, good rebounds, leads to easy offense. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe. Make sure to go check out the hardest shooting workout down in the description below if you want to be able to shoot the basketball better.